Hi, I'm Rob from Hopsing. Thanks for joining me for the first of a new uh, live broadcast that I'm doing uh, called Brew Japan. This is the first episode. It is your New Japan craft beer um, companion. So we're going to be looking at some of the fantastic content on New Japan World. I am joined by my friend Ross from the Beer Nomicon podcast. How are you doing? Very well. Looking forward to this uh, main event. Yeah, so the, the batching question that we might get onto more, but we're not sure how long this is. So it is the main event of Destru Destruction in Hiroshima recorded yesterday. So that was this, the um, September the 15th. Um, so the main event, the IWGP heavyweight title match between the contender Tomohiro Ishii versus the champion Kenny Omega. So we here for anybody who's going to watch along with us, get a beer of that. And I'm going to, I'm going to pour a bit of mine. I've already got it open. I've got a can of. Do you want to touch me? It kind of seems suitable. It's wrestling, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's men, men touching each other. <laughs> Not that I haven't lived through like thirty odd years of ridicule. <laughs> oh, look, I'm sure that. we'll get into that at some point. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure we will. So yes, if you're watching along uh, on New Japan World, or maybe you found this under more um, illegal circumstances but yeah the, ta the, the, the time that you were starting playing on this is two hours and 33 minutes bang on so i'll count down from free and then we can pray you should be doing this this is your profession fucking queuing people in <laughs> <laughs> i'm not very good at it though so uh, i'll let you do it okay so three two one play and you should have got a, a you should have got the end of kenny's bang yeah at that point i thought it was a quality moment Look at Ishii's head, just like a concrete slab. <laughs> Kill people with that thing. I'll volume down a bit on that so I can actually hear you. Yeah, I'm just going to so, go in no commentary, I think. Yeah, so for everybody who's um, watching, is, isn't watching this, but is kind of entertained by two idiots um, drinking beer and talking about pro wrestling. <laughs> uh, so Ishii is just making his entrance. As you said, the Stone Pitbull, you're wearing the t shirt. Yeah. I mean, Kenny Omega is probably my favorite wrestler, but it, it, usually because of his matches with Kenny Omega, Ishii's just top three as well. Just so uh, I'm excited about this match. The last what three or four matches I've had, especially the G1 this year, was probably my favorite. The whole G1. So over anyone, yeah. I'm glad it was uh, Ishii they picked to have a rematch. Yeah, who else? So obviously Ishii beat um Kenny during the G one. Um did Kenny is that the only guy who beat Kenny in the if, if G1? Ushi did at the end. Ushi. Yeah, in the final that's match. How he, that's how he got into the uh fat climax with uh Tanahashi. Well that's the thing, isn't it, with um with there's talk because Kenny's always not hundred percent if he's gonna re sign just so he can Yeah, he plays both sides, doesn't he? Yeah. But I can't see it, to be honest. Like, he's built up such a lore around him in New Japan now. Show it to go to WWE and just become another waste of time there. And, and you know, another big card. He'll basically be Dolph Ziggler's tag team partner, I bet, in about six months. <laughs> so it's like... General. <laughs> yeah. They've both got blonde hair, so it's perfect to each other. I mean, that curly hair. Yeah. It's got curly hair. Yeah. What should we call him? <laughs> curly lads. <laughs> yeah. It'd be Alpha and Omega or something lame like that, wouldn't it? Like, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. At the yeah, Alpha so... male Ziggler. Oh, I guess that's what Jericho's doing now, but But uh, not in but only in New Japan. He's not the alpha he's not the alpha. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not in WWE, no. Yeah, here he comes. He's the champ. <laughs> See, this is this is one thing I wanted to bring up was so as you, as we've seen on the kind of on the big screen, the best bout machine. What's your thoughts on like the new moniker Kenny's taken? Of that, I, th I think he's, he deserves it. I mean, it's it's all cockiness and uh, self confidence, and I guess that's kind of his story has been. He's needed that over the last year, and obviously getting with Abushi and the Golden Lovers this year has given him that extra confidence to kind of go with it. And he has been doing the best bouts even since his time in DDT, like a decade ago with Abushi. So. He's, still, he's been making match the years longer than half the NXT roster has been wrestling. So, yeah, I, I have no arguments about that. It's supposed to be a heel, technically, I guess, at the moment. 
even oh, though really? it, okay. it blurs the lines, I think. Since he started speaking in Japanese for his promos. Yeah. And then he's like saying like what's changed the world for the better and especially stuff on Twitter where he's like very positive about stuff. But then technically Bullet Club is supposed to be healed, but yeah, I guess maybe in this day and age there is no baby faces, there's no heels, you just cheer and boo who you want to cheer and boo. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a funny one because I think in real life he's he's quite outspoken and I think he's upset a lot of the I, well, I don't know if I'm just being I'm being I'm being uh, baffled by it, but I mean it seems that he has kind of upset people like Naito and a few others saying like the the um, Japanese are lazy. Maybe he's just trying to get them <laughs> to the game a little bit. Well, yeah, it's so in the past. I think he did it with Goto. I think when uh, was it Goto? It's basically he's done it a few times anyway. He's just doing that fake that kayfabe shoot thing where he just he will insult someone. And there's a hint of truth in everything that he says. Okay. So again, you can't really argue what he's saying half the time. If he says Goto's not really done much and needs to uh, up his game, you know, I'd say 99% of people would agree with that. But yeah. he's, he doesn't say anything negative about Ishii, although not that I can remember anyway, because Ishii's a beast, basically. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm just not sure what to make of it. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, in the in the kind of era of the everybody's a tweener, which is um, sounds like a, a dubious category on a on a, on a Israeli website. Um, um, I'm not sure what's making any because I think when he was the challenger, I think, I think he was really um, mm. he was mega popular. But I think there has been he just doesn't seem as popular as he was now he's champion. I don't. I, I know, like, well, from what I've read, the Japanese audience. I don't know, maybe it's, this is a big split now, it seems to be in New Japan, where there's purists who just want that style of pure wrestle, where it's just, you know, not much promos, characters are all in ring and through the wrestling. And then the American style that Kenny's brought over, especially the Young Bucks and that, about, you know, a lot more tables. They did the first ladder match, what, a year ago, two years ago, with Mark Logan. They started bringing a lot more tables and outside interferences mm-hmm. into the matches. So, I think there's a big split. So maybe when he was underdog, it was easier to uh, chant for him if if you like that style. Either way, if you like Japanese style or the American style or the mix-up. But now he's a champion. He's not the underdog anymore. He's just some cocky guy who's legitimately probably the best wrestler in the world. So he can talk and he can back it up as well. So maybe that's getting people up the wrong way, maybe. But... Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'd really thought about that as the as the kind of the the new nickname being the um, just being another a way to kind of like wind up kind of what I mean, quite humble kind of like Japanese people you know, traditionally quite quite shy quite humble people yeah. um, and if you kind of say you're the best and uh, then maybe that doesn't really kind of but then you usually see people it seems like again I'm probably talking this more about American wrestling. You used to the heel saying I'm the best, but then being absolutely terrible. Like I know, like uh, Tai Chi's Dangerous T's turned it turned around a little bit recently, but he used to say he was the best all the time, and he was terrible. He used to use that uh, the the bell ring all the time. But uh, yeah, Kenny's that weird mix of now he he says he's the best, and he arguably is the best in the world at the moment. Yeah. So they're going starting off quite quite fast already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I've read, see, like Japanese matches. V trigger has been. Oh man, it's ridiculous now. People say like super kick with young bucks was getting like too much. You know, they'd use it every two three minutes in a match. Kenny's V trigger is like a clothesline now in his matches. It's like every twenty seconds it seems to rock out a V trigger. Yeah, I was thinking that um, yesterday. I mean, Omega being a, a big um, uh, big gamer. I mean, in, in kind of gaming circles, he'd be ridiculed has been fucking spamming that move over and over again. <laughs> fucking doing it again. Yeah. He used to do the high dukes, didn't he? All that Did shit. Did he? Oh, right. Yeah. It was a DDT. He used to like, it was basically he'd just run into and push them like that. So it looked it looked good, but it, if you thought about it, it'd do, oh, <laughs> spiked issue there right in his head. Yeah, he wouldn't do very much to do at the time. We stopped using it now since he went to heavyweight. He stopped using it, I think. Right, and maybe it's just a bit too silly. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. The V trigger looks vicious, at least, no matter what it's called. But exactly. yeah, doing like a game boy, the game boy, uh, doing a like a gamer move, it'd be a bit weird. And IWGP heavyweight champion doing it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've not watched any. I've actually, maybe watched a couple of his old bits and bats. There was silly gimmick matches I watched with like a against mm. the blow up doll and the uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the small girl. Small girl kicks his ass. But yeah. anyway, um, but I noticed on on New Japan World, which some of what we might look at in the future is um, him and uh, uh, Ibushi did appear as a tag team in the past, maybe like six, eight years ago, something like that, as the Golden Lovers. Yeah, they were. That's what, interesting to what they were like back then. From what I've, I haven't seen much, but from what I've heard, they're ridiculous, basically. And they were winning like match of the years. Um, when you were a tag team in DDT, that like, like I said, six, eight years ago, whenever it was. Yeah. So they were still known for their style then and making great matches. But I'm pretty sure it was Ibushi that got Kenny Omega into Japanese wrestling. Maybe I remember that wrong, but I'm sure he used to see tapes of the old DDT matches. Have you seen them where they like to go to like school, like camps in the woods and stuff like that and do wrestling matches out of them? Years ago, when I was watching, when I when I got into like CZW and all that kind of bullshit, mm. you, you inevitably find kind of like Big Japan and FMW. Um, so I saw kind of like Big Japan from where they were doing like they had like a setup of an office in the ring, like filing cabinets, yeah. and desks and shit, <laughs> and some stuff like that. It was like you know, it was like office death death match or something. Like, I've not seen. My favorite DDT one was first wrestler to cry. And during the, during the match, they showed a video of a sad dog that had been ill on the big screen, and the wrestlers are like there trying to hold the tears back on this big screen as this dog's like limping around and stuff. So this is some good stuff. But yeah, to see like I don't know, it seems like WWE last decade or so has become the wrestlers become one dimensional, and once they're either a joke act, yeah, they kind of stay in that. They can never be seen as anything other. Whereas Kenny can do the joke matches like we, we saw with Yano at G1. And his past is, a, like I said, wrestling the 12 year old girl and stuff like that. Whereas now, he's, he's, he can still do those drop matches, sorry, but he can still, he's still seen as a legitimate threat to anyone he wrestles and can be the heavyweight champion. So it's just an all rounder that I could watch all day, to be honest. Yeah, and he's he sees um, mostly Omega right now. Big power slam, that's obviously one of um, Ishii's big. Offense moves that's usually brought out quite towards the end, isn't it? I mean, you can't mm. you know, you know, things are coming that brain buster will, <laughs> oh, <laughs> will put anyone away. But it's is just that the, is that the move that fucking destroyed Kenny's lip in the um, I don't know. I still, I still can't. When I watched the match, I couldn't see what it was. I assumed it was either a chop that was a bit too high, or they just yeah. you know, he caught it, caught his shoulder on something. I, I couldn't see what it was. I didn't. I didn't figure out, you know, from reading on Twitter that what it mm. actually was that you needed stitches for. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That you can't I, escape. Oh, is that, oh, is that what it's called? See, that it's a yeah. Bit... He goes, you, he goes to his show. He's like, you can't escape. Does the flip because onto the moon salt, but he's just missed it there. So yeah, that was it'll, it'll... kind of like Ted Di, uh, Ted DiBiase's um, elbow drop that I used to always miss. <laughs> fucking, you know, there's, there's like some wrestlers. I hate like, that. Yeah. Flair, Flair going up to the top rope. It's like you never fucking hit it. Yeah. Oh, it once in his life, I think he did. <laughs> Here we go. The rise Terminator of the Terminator. Spot. It's a bit earlier on though, isn't it? It's a bit earlier yeah, on. Yeah, they seem to be going full on already. Well, Ishii's up though. Is it going to... No. Oh, no. Oh, I... <sighs> Nailed it looks so beautiful, that dive. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Jeff Hardy's got a lot to... Uh, should get a lot more applauded, I think, because... <laughs> Jeff he... Hardy's nearly dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's on a lot of drugs, allegedly. <laughs> it just looks yeah. fantastic, but that, that style that Jeff Hardy brought to it decades ago, the Swan Tom Bomb, mm. I know like, the young books try and do it all the time. There's, I think there's one where... Was it Matt? No, I mean Nick did. He like jumped. This is in ROH. Did jump from two ladders onto the ropes and then did the flip like oh, swan yeah. on bot. But yeah, um, onto I saw the top row and bounced off the top row. Yeah, yeah but yeah, but he didn't do the other thing that Jeff Hyde does where he kind of whips his neck up first yeah. before he lands it. And watching a bit afterwards, and Nick was saying he was disappointed because he hadn't done that whip of the neck. 
He just jumped from two ladders onto the top of the rope to jump slant on, but he was bothered about not, you know, doing, doing it stylish and good. <laughs> like, a, like an inch out of place. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But it looked amazing anyway, but anyway. Boom. Oh, so, hang on. You just can't take issue out of anything. You can't. No. It's not, you can't discredit him at any point. No. He's such mm. a... He should not have been a main event if he's looked at his stats based, you know, the size of his height and his age. He's in his mid 40s now. Oh, right. He's, he's, he's been, been going forever, but he's just so good, especially with Omega. I think they got. He's got great chemistry. These chops are brutal. <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. To the neck as well. One thing that does um, entertain me about the, um, uh, the commentary. Uh, from Kevin Kelly, he often bring. Oh, is it? Maybe it's Don Callis who mentions that Kenny's got big hands. The <laughs> big hands. <I'm> like, <laughs> like, what difference does that make? It. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he had small hands, it would chop in more. You know what I mean? Like he went in like that rather. Than, I don't know. Bigger, bigger I'm hands. sure Don Callis is just is just uh, a big a mega fan because he's from Winnipeg, and so that's you can't really. You got to take it what he says a pinch of salt sometimes. Especially with Omega. So who, who's, who's with Kevin this, on this one? I can't. It was um, a guy from ROH, I think, Mark something. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see him, but he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's taller. I was hoping for Chris Charlton again because I thought he was great during the G1. He's the guy who wrote the oh, eggshells. Is that a one wing angel he's going for there? No. I think it was, yes. <laughs> Onto a table <laughs> over the fucking barricade. Oh. Suplex on the floor the, from issue. One thing I can do without, though, as we're outside the ring, is the excessive pushing back into the barriers near the announced desk. It like, <laughs> doesn't achieve anything, and it just fucks shit up. Yeah. Remember, well, that's uh, it. Yeah, look at one, the... They lost, like, they lost uh, it for, like, 45 minutes or something. <laughs> was an iPod on the, the floor yeah. now next to the... See the iPad next to the uh, announced yeah, table yeah. there. But I always yeah, think no, how, how those rails never go into the crowd... Especially at like Kurrigan Hall, when the crowd's like a foot away from it, that barrier sticks very strong every time. It always looks like it's going to break, but it's obviously built where it doesn't get thrown oh. back that much. Go on again. The basement drop kick, but through the but through the bottom and middle rope. Is that is actually probably safer, isn't it? Because you're not going to somebody <laughs> fuck the knee up or ankle up. Rob Van Dam uh, broke his ankle doing the uh, baseball. Yeah. I think. Uh, Funder Liger's done it as well. Oh, one bit of admin before I forget. If I disappear, it's because my computer is shit. And not gonna <laughs> crash, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So you can just hold for it. So just in case, if I just go, <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> right, we'll just, know well. I, I've been put through a table, and I, I'm, I'm going around. <laughs> See, already, oh, they're on God. the fucking, they're on the American announce table. Let's get cables wrapped around the neck. So he's... Kenny Kenny's going for the dive this, on a table about like, 12 feet away from the ring over the ring. Oh, kind of shit. On oh, no, a springboard. <laughs> so he went for the double stomp. Basically <laughs> slipped over Ishii and just hit the ground behind the table. Jesus it's Christ. What's the impact like? He, he, oh, he didn't get a bunch of him. <laughs> he like he slipped over... Ishi's greasy belly. It just yeah. went more after <laughs> greasy <tits. laughs> Oh man! Oh, look at him! He's, he's, he's selling. He's like, oh, you got me right at the nipple. <laughs> and Megan no, Kenny, like, think, stuff. Is Kenny actually more hurt from that move than Ishi? Yeah, I guess in <laughs> in kayfabe, it's like, oh well, you know, he's 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 making he's going high risk. To uh, put Ishii out, but definitely, I would rather be on that sat on that line that table than trying to jump twelve feet yeah. across. <laughs> his some of his dives, you just think how, because uh. then you, you think now they're going to wrestle for another half an hour. Yet it's not like this is the end of the match. Yeah. He's just jumped. This is, the, this is the start of the match. <laughs> yeah, he's just jumped on concrete. From 10 feet up, and now he's got to wrestle another 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah. I always love Ishii's selling. I think he's fantastic at it. One thing I've, I've kind of appreciated about New Japan is that um, the 
they really use the 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 the, the outside of the ring count. Mm, yeah, um, I mean, and it's it's something that I mean, there will be like a mad dash at the, at the end. They, they do actually make that count because I think sometimes, like in kind of a lot of American uh, wrestling, um, that's a weird thing to say is American wrestling because that's what <laughs> I call it when I was about nine. Um, <laughs> but in uh, kind of WWE primarily, um, it doesn't mean anything. No. no kind of counts or anything. Mean it could anything be. At all. It could be flouted at any match, like as long as it doesn't fit in with the storyline, then it's ignored. I know oh, Ishii looks a bit bruised up there on his arm. Yeah, it's it's then very maybe not sometimes in New Japan they're not very quick to a start counting, but once they do, they stick to it. And they somehow always get back at nineteen. It's always weird that no matter what. I always think it must be disorientating if you're Japanese. Japanese wrestler, sorry, you'd be resting for 30 minutes, say, and then someone's counting down in English. Obviously, they probably know the English uh, numbers, but, you know, if you're taking shots to the head and you're knackered, and it's, it, it could get lost in translation at some point. Chops but... are fucking brutal. Sorry, <laughs> you're no, chopping him in the fucking neck with his forearm. <laughs> this is why I like Ishii, just don't give a shit. He's just a little, he's just a little <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Sorry. That, Sorry no, no. It's just, I mean, because normally a chop to the throat is like a mistake, but he's like fucking laying him in. <laughs> well, that's Ooh. Joel. Ho oh, Joel Homner. He's got a dead raspy voice, hasn't he? Yeah. That's from chops to the throat. He used to be like a death match wrestler. Really? In in, in a big Japan wrestling, he used to get chopped to shit in the throat, so he just like fucked his vocal vocal box oh, up. Really? Yeah. <sighs> that was that was a high. Power bomb for me. That was a very high angle power bomb, yeah. Kenny's neck is made out of fucking Jesus. Uh, titanium. I don't know how he I don't know how he takes it. Oh sneaked out of the um, It's so quick. Too much spitting in uh New Japan though. It's like every match <laughs> yeah. now there's like six spits spitting on each other. It's like, come on, lads. No need for that. He's, Naito is the, um, ah, the but... culprit for the most spitting. <sighs> He's the king of the spitters. <laughs> he can hit you from Dirty twenty feet away, Naito. He's getting over. He's getting. Uh, he's getting spitting over his Naito. <laughs> if he's finished or soon. Well, that, no, it'll, it'll turn into his kind of post. Is is like celebration. Walk back to the um, the uh, changing rooms, like uh, like kind of oh, like, like, wet and shit. <laughs> so so was... Naito's just gonna gob on people. <laughs> They just pray for it like this. They're waiting for it. <laughs> uh, no strength. I was watching the uh, Tanahashi uh, six-man tag with Okada uh, about an hour ago, and Kaylee was sat down, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this Tanahashi. The, he always gets the fan. The fans always get him to like wipe spit on him. Not spit, sorry. Just wipe sweat, on sweat on the towel, yeah. stuff like that." And I, was, I don't get that at all. I don't want some some guy sweat all over my uh, new new merch. I don't know if he's just. I'm I'm just gonna read in some into what in there, but is it because he's like his gimmick is he's like a rock star, isn't he? Yeah, and a rock like star because he's kind of old and he's like an old <laughs> aging fucking rock star. So I think it's the whole kind of like stadium rock idols would like wipe oh. the sweat on on a yeah on like a towel maybe, and give it to yeah. some baby. Like, ah. <laughs> so it's I just think... that I hate that his gimmick is playing air guitar and he's obviously never touched a guitar in his life. Is the worst oh, yeah. air guitar. Oh no, it's, it's the t it's the bit where they throw him under. They throw he him under and broken it. Like he's playing a broken banjo and then he like throws it away and then he pulls another one out of his backside about five minutes later. Does that? Like, <laughs> he's at least learn to look like you're playing guitar. <laughs> uh, this is it. I like I like multiple, each he doesn't sell multiple belts about. Doesn't sell any <laughs> suplex like boom, and you believe it as well. Like, oh, Kenny's like just about oh, like, right. one of the V trigger. Should it should have a V trigger count for this? It should be like yeah, it should be like the, the in future episodes. That'll be like the drinking Ding. game. Two fingers for every V, v trigger. <laughs> we'll count the V triggers and the spitting. And we'll probably be in double digits in the first ten minutes. Absolutely annihilated. Um, so you I mean it has been quite high paced considering because the. Traditionally, and most New Japan uh, uh, matches will have a bit of a lull mm. um, of about twenty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it usually starts a bit slow, doesn't it? And then 
yeah, as they build pace, they, they go back and, it, and it's like a nice crescendo. Crescendo, that's not the right word, is it? Yeah, it yeah, peaks, yeah, it peaks at the end. Uh, yeah. They probably, if you go and watch the Okada and Mega matches, especially the, probably yeah. the uh, first Wrestle Kingdom one, that's probably the ideal one. Of that first 15 minutes, they're just building up, building up, and then an hour into it, basically. Yeah, kind of tempting, still, tempting big moves early uh, on, but missing it and. Those Rainmaker think, counters and misses and all that were fantastic during them. That, that it was that Wrestle Kingdom match, the uh, Mega Card one, that's pretty much got me into New Japan uh, <laughs> a lot more. Talking up, brother. <laughs> Come on. It's just his, his, his neck or lack thereof that is just fantastic. <laughs> and he can take these like uh, neck breaking moves because he's just pure. Muscle and meat around his head. <laughs> so you're another of the of Kenny's arsenal, the Snapdragon. Another Nick V to go. <laughs> and what's he going? He's going for the. He's going for the. Is this it going to be over? Is this going to be this over? Is oh. oh, there we go. Punch him back now. Oh. It's a fantastic fishing move. Hang on. Oh, bring oh. us. Oh. He's holding on to it. Beat him by his own. His own finisher. <laughs> How insulting. <laughs> it, it, it still boggles my mind how, like, you know, say I go for a run for 20 minutes and that's, you know, that's me exaggerating. But say you do <laughs> and then you think right at the end of that, you've got to pick up a 200-pound man and start throwing <laughs> them about. This is basically what they're doing now. I don't know how long the match has been going. It was 20 minutes. They've been non-stop and then to still have the stamina after 20 minutes, you know, start picking picking each other up and throwing them about still. It's, like, unbelievable. Yeah, well, I know you you live in the Manchester area, but even when you go for a jog, I don't think there's many people chopping you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice, but, not, yeah, not so often. I get spat at a lot, though, but uh, <laughs> no V-triggers yet. Another one. It's a kit in these. This style, I mean, I'm, I've got the... Sound turned down now, but the sound of these sound absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it's a lot of his padding on his knees and his, his yeah. oh, his, she's out now. It's Kenny just gone for yeah, a V trigger, um, and uh, I guess that's, that's one thing that I mean, I, I don't really see that much with, with Kenny's. Um, on the on these knees, you don't really see any kind of the old leg slapping. It, mu- it might be, oh, his, yeah, his, his custom pleather that yeah. um, allows him to. Um, it seems like he's just. Kind of perfected it. That's where that. That. So V trigger to the back of the neck in the corner, mm. you, but you hear it. But you I mean, yeah, it sounds great. The knee slapping thing is is too much now. It's like every move. Michael Elgin is the fucking worst for it. He is so like you know most people can hide it quite well. It's kind of built into the kick where they're not noticing it. But Michael Elgin, I find absolutely terrible at it. Yeah. Shades of the. Um, Match they had, I think it was in America, where uh, Kenny tried to dragon suplex him through the table on the outside, and Ishii bit the top rope so he wouldn't get suplexed. Yeah, it's ridiculous, ridiculous moment in wrestling. Looked fantastic though. Oof! See the sweat fly in there. <laughs> ridiculous. So you've got you, you're probably on a big screen. I'm on like a fucking yeah part <laughs> of a screen here. I got my big tail. Well, I got my big tail is like perfect. Yeah, yeah. The, the usability of the of the, the app isn't amazing. Yeah, the other the the fast forwarding, especially when like the first mm. goodness knows how long of any New Japan show on New Japan World is just just like a holding screen. It's like mm-hmm. yeah, coming <laughs> yeah. to the first fucking With bout. The dates. Uh. But admittedly, the first bout is usually it's, um, some terrible um, tag match, usually involving um, is it Hanari. Oh, he, he's built. He's moved up now. He was the uh, bad luck fallet today, so he was like third matching. It's usually like some young lions like do the same three moves because that's all they can do. Oh, this is <laughs> dangerous now. I don't like when they're both on the top rope like this. It's like just waiting for someone to crash and burn. What's going to go on here? So Ishii's on the top rope. Yes, he's not. Oh, oh. Fucking, he could have landed <laughs> on his head quite easily then, could he? Oh man, I mean, for yeah. someone who doesn't do hurricane runs, yeah, especially not the top rope. That is uh it, it looked good though. It, I thought I bet he was happy just to not land on his head. <laughs> he he's not the kind of guy who can get that kind of rotation, is he really? 
Yeah, he's not the most uh, manoeuvrable person. He hasn't got much. He's kind of a bit stocky, like especially in the shoulders and neck. Oh, it's a big fucking head, though. That. I still don't like the Craig David beard, though. The little thin beard that he's got going on, but I'm not going to argue with him. He definitely plucks his eyebrows as well, which I find really good. Oh, shit. He's gone. Oof, was that double nick? Yeah. Oh! See, this is... It's like fucking hell. I thought this... Oh, see the building it up already. The building to finish already. I mean, she came uh, kind of thinking they're fucking way off the finish of this. Yeah, yeah. The act stops now. really. There's been no lull. Maybe it's set, you know, after the jump from the outside to from a mega, but it, uh, Ishii's looking battered and bruised anyway. Have you got any predictions? Are you, are you thinking a mega's going to retain? Oh. Kind of thing. Okay, now I'll take his head off with that one. <laughs> he's, Ishii's bumping is, is is wonderful. I've got to say, he's he fantastic. There, but he makes it, people look good as well. It's a nice. But when you spin kind of think that. he's going to win, it's oh uh, reverse round. That is the oh. no, right, that's a move that doesn't need to exist. If you ask me, a lot of time. One of the biggest like moments that I remember from these two is I can't. I think it was G one last year. Uh, Ishii did a reverse. Uh, is it Hurricane Rana on Omega? Like Ishii did it, and I was like, I jumped out of my chair. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it looked fantastic. They didn't expect it at all. I think it was like a um, a reversal of the One Wing Angel as well. So it was just, yeah, it was fantastic. But, well, yeah, while they're selling well, that big move, I'm going to grab me another can. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Oh, I'll talk about what I've been drinking then. I'm on the uh, Lily Waite and Marble collaboration. Dinosaurs oh. will die. Oh, right. How is it? It's really nice. Like, I've had the kind of fridge for a few months. Because um, it was during Magic to Beer Week that they released it. But it's, it's just a nice... It's, it's supposed to be a goals. I know they said at the time that it wasn't as very sour or as what they wanted at the time. But it's just a nice, pleasant... Fruity, it's a bit bit of saltiness on it, but not too much. I think they said if they rebrewed it again, it'd be a bit saltier, a bit bit bit, bit more sour edge to it. But it's a nice, a nice, pleasant drink anyway. Well, as it happens, I've, I've the other one I've got on the goes and goes as well. It's the a Tullum from um, um, Burt Mill Pineapple Girls 4.8. It's, <sighs> um, recently, I mean, there's been loads of V triggers and Snap Dragons. You're going to see a lot more of these, so we'll just talk about beer for a minute. Um, but I got this from my mate Jake, who does, he's got a channel as well, uh, Jake Beer, and um, we did a, a swap of we wrapped up cans, so we didn't know what they were called, mystery beers, oh, yeah. and we um, uh, so we it's kind of like what what how good are you really? How can you without knowing what it is? Can you kind of pick out what it is? So this one, oh, I would this I would struggle with that final one. Oh. oh well, it turns out I fucking nailed this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I, I was too on. busy by a mega. So, there. I, I love that late, elevated kind of clutch. I love it. Uh, he like catches them midair and then like into the uh, German suplex. It's a fantastic move. Just shows his strength. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> took a victory. A turn around, just turned took inside out. A mega's head off. He knocked his curl straight out. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, my okay. usual. I've got a, I've got a Francis Carmen in the fridge. That would be my next one. That's my usual wrestling oh, wrestling God. beer of choice. Is the uh, oh, Friday Friday night if I'm not out, a few wheat beers because I can get them from the supermarket, and then sit in and watch wrestling for three or four hours. <laughs> the, um, so, yeah. The See, I mean, Ishi just just hit the kind of the the kind of the, the seated. Did they call it seated clothesline, sliding clothesline? It rings a bell, yeah, something like that. And I mean, that's usually like his oh, fucking hell. Another one. Um, fucking hell! Just <laughs> like on his on his back, his neck. <laughs> you believe every every lariat as well from oh, uh. Oh fucking hell! Oh. That's like. 
finish that's, any that's other what life. They, that's what they, that's that broke stone call Steve Austin's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The strength finish his neck must be uh, untold. Like it's ridiculous. Austin out that kind of move recently. Who wore it? That kind of the like. I know from Tenzan. There's this. This. Uh, you, do you follow Mr. Lariato on uh, Twitter? The gift. The gift uh, guy. He does all gifts oh, and that. Do. Maybe I do. Maybe and I do. there's one of Tenzan doing that similar move to uh, Koj- um, Kojima, and he just lands. Kojima just lands like on his neck, basically. And Juicy from the Lions ringside, and it's he like reacts to the move. He's like, it's like that. I can't believe like what he just saw in the ring. It's fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, so Kenny's just pulled his knee pad down to... Uh, oh, really? So yeah, now we're being triggered now. now. <laughs> it's, gone, it's gone magma. It's gone oh, full on. Oh, fucking hell, he's going to have a oh. top rope. Jesus Christ. See, that's it. You mean, when... Because, because oh, that now he connected with that. Uh-huh. Because he saw Ishii's head just go... Burr. It's like, when, when, does, when does that move mean something now? When, when, is the, when is the when is the fucking penultimate V trigger? See another one. He's like, "Fuck you, Tsuguri, <laughs> fuck you." Oh, I, I would love Ishi to win, but that's can't yeah, see. The, it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, is, that like, is that like a J driller? It's, it's, yeah, it's nasty as fuck. It, oh, kind of yeah. That's like what? The, it's at least a second, second or third, like. High impact move on Ishii's neck now. I guess Kenny said, "Right, I'll take the, I'll do the jump to the outside, so you can take three fucking power drivers on your fat head." <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It might have been on All In that somebody took uh, the, the like the, the oh, it was thingy. It was it was Kenny versus um, Pelter uh, Pentagon Junior, um, where they did the double underhook. Power driver on the apron, which was mm. completely unnecessary. <laughs> but it was an incredible match. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, I didn't know what to expect from that, but I haven't seen much of Penta. I haven't watched much okay. of his matches, so. Um, yeah. Oh no shit! That it? No one's ever kicked out of it. That's there it. You Fuck. Fuck you know. That's a that's a good match. I thought we had another twenty five minutes. Yeah, I said it. What like we said though, they, they never really took the foot off the. Off the gas, as Americans would say, they just kind of went for it for, right from the start. Fuck. Ishii sure needs his time. Bit, they were a little bit afterwards as well. I mean, because there's still an hour left of the of the, of the broadcast. So. Right. Okay. So, yeah, so that was come out and go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of three falls now. That was forty minutes, pretty much. Though, so. Oh really? Wow. Thirty-five, maybe. Wow. It went quick. Christ. There you go. Shade over thirty. Uh, he's holding onto his ankle. He's like, "No, shit. fuck you!" What's it? What's he doing? Man, why is he? Is he knocked out? And he's just like, "Just like, oh, fuck you!" Once more. Okay, like... he's bleeding from his ear as well. Yeah, it's an issue. Need. I mean, I don't think he's going to fit as a champion because obviously, I don't know. Obviously, they've built a mega up to. I don't like this. Omega started doing this in the matches now. He like puts water on his hair and like slicks it back, right, ready for his promo, so he looks good. It's like it's 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 either either really annoying or the best heel move I've ever seen in my life. It's like it makes me hate him. He like <laughs> slicks his hair back after the match. Uh, it's because if you think it's if you're hot, that cools you down, doesn't it? That's the theory. Yeah, that's true. I think but yeah, it, does it make him look like he's been sweating his ass? I off? think it's I think it's vanity. He's like right, I'm gonna slick my hair back. Look good. Yeah. But yes, it's see, a good it's a good heel move, I guess. See, in the eighties, it were all about kind of greasy hair. Bret oh, Hart. that's fucking the, <laughs> it's the shield, isn't it? Wrong. The shield just uh, drown themselves <laughs> before a match, and the hair looks because that sign uh, was in WWE once, where someone wrote a sign is Roman. Why is your hair so wet? <laughs> so this is where. He's going to do his promo in Japanese now. You see, last night I I, well, I was just watching um, uh, some Omega kind of compilations, and it, I think it was the first moment that he spoke in Japanese, and the crowd were like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think that's Jim... the moment he, he like really got over. And he's like, "Ah, 
And I, I, be, I can speak all along. I can speak yeah. all along <laughs> because I'm the hero. <laughs> yeah, I think Jay White did it before he left to go uh, ROH for a bit. He spoke like two, three sentences and the crowd went mental. Maybe t- I shall turn up a little bit. I'm, I'm going to turn up a little bit to see if I can actually hear what he's saying. Yeah. Obviously, if it's in yeah, Japanese. It's going to be, be a bit of dicking around for a while, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you said there's still an hour left, didn't there? Yeah, exactly. Because I, when I skipped it forward, there was... Um, maybe they just replayed it. Maybe they... The, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I well, anyway, I'm, I'm just going to have a search through and... Um, yeah, no worries. Uh, just a little bit earlier than, than expected. I'm going to pick... Well, I'll, I'll keep this on. I'll let you know if anything so, happens. I know, and I'm still, I'm still listening. Oh, okay. I'm just, yeah, I'm just double, double screen, so I can get a um, the link to the. Oh, there it is. Okay, Antonio, I'll send you the link. Yeah, the link. Poor is she. He needs the intercontinental belt. I think. Take yeah. off fucking Jericho. Oh, that's a complete waste of time. Yeah. That's, I, I don't know why they even did that. I don't know. They didn't achieve anything with that. No. As much as I enjoy Jericho we meet in New Japan, because he's, he's swearico. <laughs> um, he really does swear as well. They've, they've, yeah. they've been told to like cut back on the swearing, haven't they? I like Jack, Zack Sabre Jr.'s um, swearing, because he's a bit more... He's really British with his swearing. <laughs> he's got people dickheads, not he? Yeah, I like that. I like how he screams oi every time. Instead of like... Grunting, he just shouts, Oi! Oi! <laughs> oh, here we go. Volume up. Oh, it's Japanese. <laughs> he usually does it in British afterwards, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, One thing I always pick up with Kenny's um, promos, it's usually pre match, he goes, he has this kind of move, he goes, <laughs> and he looks to his side and goes, ah, ha, ha. He's like, that kind of like, but not quite good enough. <laughs> Oh, is someone trying to translate it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fucking terrible at translating. Is it Django or something? He was terrible during G1. Yeah, he was never. Ishii was never going to win, unfortunately. But. We got, to, we got a good match out of it. My cat's crashing at the door. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just got Kenny doing his um, cross match promo. There's a lot of. There's us. There's been a lot of sired looks to Ibushi, and now Ibushi's got the mic. So. Oh, time to keep our promise. Live sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the crowd wants. Teasing WWE again. Ah, uh, what? If he fucking goes to the WWE, I'm gonna be pissed off, man. This is live contract negotiations, essentially. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just upped his price by about fifty grand a year. <sighs> it's be such a waste for him to like. Have built up this much, then good WWE, but maybe I'm just being a New Japan fanboy too much. Bang! I've got the thing. Oh. And they've got the um, the ticket tape. So yeah, there were a lot of um, teasing of he's going to rematch with Ibushi, which everybody's going to think it is. is is going to happen, isn't it? I was a little disappointed. I've, it must do, surely. Turn, but... t- turn Kelly down a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. There we go. Just getting Kevin Kelly excited <laughs> and shouting people's names. 
Um, I want to see it, but I was disappointed by their match at G1, to be honest. I guess it's that thing of once you've built it up so much, you're never going to reach those heights that you've, you know, you've built up. But yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's it's always going to be a good match. But I could I could watch Kenny Omega and Ishii wrestle every day. I mean, totally yeah, fine with it. I mean, they, they were clearly kind of like hinting to us. I mean, everybody thinks um, if because Kenny's tempting these. Um, him leaving, I mean, he's not going to, but he wants more money clearly. Mm. And and what um what everybody wants is is um Kenny and uh, Ibushi. <clears throat> so I mean, if he's tempting it, and then then I guess he thinks he's putting himself in a more advantageous kind of position. Yeah, um, and it's good timing now because they've got obviously uh, Wrestle Kingdom at the start of January. Mm-hmm. So did he build it from? Obviously, they've got Tanahashi. King, Wrestle Kingdom, but does Ken is that Kenny's last match? Did he did he hint at that being his last New Japan match, maybe, and then s- swerve left at the last second and keep him in at New Japan? Or well, there's no guarantee that it'll be um, Tanahashi. I mean, he's Kenny yeah. versus Akada next week. Yeah, if it's twenty third, I think it was this third. I'm more excited about uh, Tai Chi and Goto, to be honest. <laughs> you don't like Tai Chi. I don't like Tai Chi. Dangerous. I don't mind Ganta. He's fantastic. Is he though? <laughs> he's the he best. Got bigger recently. Has he got bigger recently? I, mean, uh, I, I think he's. I think he's a stopped caring. I think in a super in a, when he was a junior, he was obviously like a bit parky for that for that weight class. But now he's heavyweight. He's just like, yeah, I'll do what I want now. It seems to be. But yeah, I think so. Those um, those poppable pants look a bit tighter than usual. <laughs> Maybe that's your that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Ooh, hello, Tai Chi. <laughs> it's a fantastic deal. <laughs> it's fantastic. It can beat anyone, I think. He's, he's gonna be headlining Wrestle Kingdom in uh, twenty twenty, I'm telling you. He's not. <laughs> Yoshi Hase Tai Chi main event, Wrestle Kingdom to twenty twenty. Can you imagine? That would be an absolute abomination. Have you seen this <laughs> thing? Yeah, he's the drizzling shits. Well he, he's the um He's in the contract now, well, I think, for the Akada Tanahashi match. If Tanahashi wins, Yoshihashi goes to like Tanahashi's side, basically. Oh, really? And, and leads chaos. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Which, that's if anything. Baby. That's like a booby prize. <laughs> you, <that> fucking idiot. <laughs> you win, yeah, you win, and you get a fucking loose explosion, as he used to call himself. <laughs> Fucking hell! You stop. Do you remember that? You stop. Too much New England IPA results in a <laughs> no. That's what he's. Uh, he had that at the back of his trunks for a few years. Christ, loose Christ, explosion. Christ. It was like a fucking rib on him or something. Hmm. Well, yeah, I don't so, know. Yeah, so so we're on the kind of, um, uh, the commentators now, but I, I fast forwarded it and 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 the match. Maybe they just replayed it. Oh, I've got, I've got Kenny's post match. Um. Interview actually, I'll, I'll give you the, if I'll give you the time in a second when the, I'm sure there's some quality co- uh, comments. <laughs> yeah, I've still got like 50 minutes on this broadcast. Still. She was really good. He's <laughs> 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 not quite. You know, so we, just, we sat down like that, like on the stove, like. <sighs> yeah, I love these so fans. I, if you go on um, thing as well, if you go on on Twitter I've, on the DM, I've sent you the link to the um, uh, cool. the Antonio and Elke, great um, Antonio. Oh, is this the Antonio? Oh, right. Yeah, it's 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 only six minutes and fifty one seconds, so it's definitely <laughs> worth watching. All right, I'm gonna get another beer then while. Uh... Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'll, 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 oh I'll, shit! I recognise um... this guy now. You now see the picture of him. He looks like a fucking hot mess. <laughs> It's like giant haystacks and Ooh, uh, big daddy into one. Got his promo, see what he's saying. I remember what I said. Oh shit, yeah. Winning Spankball is a symbol. <laughs> I I am pro wrestling. I represent pro wrestling. If I thought that meant so the best by far the example Snashy. He does talk like a, a bad guy in a video game sometimes, though. Yeah, he does. Which yeah, I quite enjoy, to be honest. <laughs> All right, I'll get him a beer while Omega rants he's, on. Um, 
Yeah, he's um, he's currently putting over um, uh, Ishii and 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 downplaying Tana and and um, saying Tana's Tana shit. But, uh, yeah, I can't stand Tanahashi. I know he's the ace and all that, and he's, he he helped the company when they were in the shits a few dec- like a decade ago. But move over, mate. Give, that's give the same to... what he's doing. He's saying yeah. Tana got. A, a, he says out out with the old guards. Yeah, yeah. Ta- he, you know, space there for Tai Chi to move up and take Tanahashi's space as the go as the ace <laughs> of the company. So his haircut alone could, would make him should make him champion <laughs> right, I'll get his beard um, and I'll come back in a second so yeah it was just the backstage uh, um, he's, Kenny's just doing it in Japanese now but he effectively just said um, um, t- um, and we don't like the old guys Tanahashi you know what I mean he's like oh, uh, Ishii you're different Okada you're different but Tanahashi, you're not like them. He's just going to say, out with the old, in with the new. Effectively. And they say goodbye in a very dramatic manner. <laughs> and there was a quality moment just there. And the Bushi's walked in, and you know he's uh, now he's wanking him off, as it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn up for the books. That's quite. <laughs> I thought they were trying to go PG with this this outfit. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> no, he just he kept, he, on his interview. He did the he did the bang. He had his he had his bottle of water, so he's like this, and he went Bush, and splashed. <laughs> <water> <laughs> and it was it was very silly. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got like another. What, is, what the fuck is later then? I'm just going to skip forward. I think that he's just replaying it. Just it, them talking. Yeah, we just replayed it. I think they've so, done highlights before, haven't they? So have I got much of that left? Yeah, I've still got some of this left. I do have a kind of uh, um, Rhinebacker in the fridge as well. <laughs> just in case. Could do just worse than that. Just in case. Yeah, I was at a panic class night and realised I didn't have much in the fridge that wasn't 12% imp stouts. So. That's my problem as well. I, I don't have anything left apart from that Imperial Stouts and Rhinebacker now. I had that one IPA and then this which I didn't know what it was because it was all wrapped up in brown paper. Ah, oh, so okay. Could have been it. Could have been lumbered with another fucking big <laughs> paper. So yes. So um, for everybody who's watching, um, I mean, you, you probably forgot that people are actually intended to watch this as entertainment. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Um, but no, it was it was it was, a, it was a fantastic main event. I mean, main event caliber kind of matchup. But um, now we're going to watch something. What is very much. Questionable main event caliber uh, matchup <laughs> is um, the great Antonio Inoki, the the cornerstone, the the founder of uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Is, is he still the owner? I don't know. Yeah. I think he's kind of in a uh, name capacity. You know what I mean? That like he's like what's the word ambassador capacity? Right. I think. I think. Well, I, I could be yes. wrong. I'll let you off not knowing the financial. <laughs> uh, I need to get that Chris Charlton's yeah. book. Chris Charlton's book. He's got one called Lion's Pride. Which is about right. the history of New Japan, but it's like twenty five quid, so I haven't, I haven't reached that budget yet. Recommend people who have not. I've, I just found it last week. The Eggshells um, podcast on on post wrestling. I, I really like right, okay. um, John Pollock and waiting stuff as well. So I'd, I've been listening to some of that. That's that. That was one of the reasons why I kind of mentioned this this ridiculous idea of the other day on Twitter. Um, but yeah, we have got the great Ant, uh, great uh, Antonio Noki versus the great Antonio. <laughs> Six minutes and 51 seconds. I, I would strongly recommend anybody watch this because it is a piece of genius. <laughs> Just a little bit of a background. The, uh, the great Antonio was a, uh, a strongman in, in Montreal uh, in the like 50s and 60s. So at this point, this is 1977. Um, I had been, ju- I'd have been about, I think this, I'm like five months old when this was recorded. And uh, yeah, I'm that fucking old. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I was. I wasn't grown, even. Should have grown up by now. <laughs> been considered, you know, considered as a bad idea by this point. I don't think my parents. <laughs> I don't think my parents had met at that point, so I was. I wasn't even twinkling my dad's eye at that point. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So late, late nineteen seventy seven. Uh, Gray Antonio was this kind of ridiculous kind of character. He's a big fat guy from from Canada. <laughs> He'd kind of like pull buses, um, like using his head. And he, he, apparently, I'm watching a little documentary on YouTube. He's got these big fucking dreadlocks, and he'd um, 
who'd been kind of matting this fucking hair, as you'll and is maybe not this by this point, but matting his hair and kind of and and kind of putting metal rings in it. So it, it, and he'd use it to play golf. <laughs> Fuck like, off. Apparently. About honestly, apparently it, it it this is this is on this little YouTube video. I don't know if they're fucking around. But apparently, right. he, he, he um he um uh, channel challenged Tiger Woods to a golf match with his with his hair. <laughs> so this guy's a proper think, carny then. It, it, oh yeah, he di- I mean he died kind of destitute and all this kind of oh. business, but he became he, I mean he, le- he lived a quite a, a life of a, an oddity and a celebrity in kind of Montreal. Mm. And I, I think I found this just on the YouTube search one time. You were like, "Who the fuck is that big fat guy?" <laughs> so, so if you've got your thing ready, I'll, I'll count yep. down and we can start. So one, two, three, plum. So as if, if you're watching along, we've got Antonio Inoki, the, the the king of it all, with, with his his robe and picture of Mount Fuji on the back or something. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a million a million dollars, really. Like great sideburns as well, great seventy sideburns on Anoki. Absolutely, there fantastic! You go. Jesus Christ! Big fat folk, big metal chain, trousers held held up by a bit of tape. Do you remember someone looks like they smell bad? That's that's <laughs> all I can think about. No, apparently he really fucking smelled bad. Oh, he did. Um, oh, great. To the point that if you ever wanted to book him for anything, if you had to contact him, you had to you had to um, ring a branch of Do- Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> But, but he was he it. was banned from going in because he smelled so bad. Uh, in order to get his attention, they would knock on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking mental. But for people who are not watching, he's 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 got a big fucking belly. He's got these he's got like worker boots. He's got like rigger boots on. <laughs> he's got yellow pants. Uh. He's got a big fucking belly. He's got impressive back tits. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like some old lad. He's, he, he's at your local and he sits in the corner and he's there seven days a week from when it opens to when it closes. And he's he's got a, a little dog of him. He's got two walking sticks and he don't give a fuck about what anyone thinks. That's what he looks like, basically. <laughs> That's absolutely spot on. <laughs> he swears at anyone who walks past and then he just downs pints like there's fucking water. <laughs> This is. I feel sorry for some wrestlers. Sometimes you look at their opponents, and you think you've got to actually go and touch him and put your head in places that you won't want to even look at. Never mind, be that close up to. <sighs> Fucking hell! So Noki comes out with a bit of a roll, and uh, and uh, uh, Graham Tony is kind of marching forward, clawing at him. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a punt now and say that Antonio is gonna fucking gas out in about thirty seconds. Well, he, apparently he did have some wrestling experience. He he, he, he competed in Stampede for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, a long time ago. I mean, you, when you watch this, you think, is he pissed? Yeah. Mm. I just feel sorry but, for Inoki. Like, why would you book this match? Because I think he was a, a, he was a, like it was, a known kind of public figure. But it was that Asian match, wrestling where if you were fat... Me. If you were fat, yeah. you were seen as like a monster. Yeah. Well, this guy was legit, kind of like really strong. Apparently, he's he uh, hasn't yeah. got he hasn't got muscle on him though, has he? You know, there's no ar- muscle on his arms mm. at all. It, it was like prob- said, it was probably strong. like strong as fuck about ten years before this. Yeah. And his legacy's kind of lived on. He, I, so now, now you mentioned his boots, like wrap his arms <laughs> around him. <laughs> it's not happening. Powering it, powering out. Oosh. Oh, a bit of ass. Ah, straight to the belly there. Yeah, I bet he smelled. I bet the I bet the made him wash before the match. Though. Uh, so completely s- no cells and no keys drop kick. Punches like, his belly. I am not fucking falling again. again. If he falls over, he's got to stand back up. So what's the point? <laughs> He's punching Jesus. his belly, sticking it out. I, I, I encourage anybody to watch this madness because it is it's a he's just punching his belly. <laughs> going, go on, punch me belly. <laughs> he is on, pissed in it. He's definitely pissed. <laughs> oh. oh, trying to scoop him up. Don't put your arm there, in Okay, fucking hell. No, 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 no. Oh, the he's got him in a headlock. Sanitizer. What's one effective move on Antonio Noki is um, the headlock because his chin is fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> Pushed him into the ropes. Great Antonio. Oh, now Inoki's chopping legs down. He's, he's looking a bit pissed off, but he's throwing him into the ropes, and Inoki's oh. 
Oof. going full blast, dived into him, and there's some thrusting from the big fat black, uh, big fat guy. <laughs> He, oh my! It's kind of like a hobo Father Christmas. That's that's all I can see. He's even got the like yellow alternative slimy Christmas kex on as well. <laughs> so he um uh oh, nice clubbing him a bit, Club, clubs to the chest. Antonio hasn't gone off his feet, has he? He's just stood up. Yeah. He's just stood mud around for three minutes. But I think he's, he's kind of clawing it a bit. Oh, see, this is where it goes wrong. Oh shit! Right, okay. So here we go. <laughs> right, I've heard this. I've never seen it. I don't think. <laughs> so you know, Antonio clubbed Anoki, no kind of shoot to the back of the neck, and so Anoki oh. starts slapping him. And here, oh, he's hooked. He's kind of keeping him yeah. on the ground. And just fucking, fucking kicking him in the face. <laughs> yeah, Anoki's not him fucking happy. On his head. Yeah, so I saw he was on the floor for the first time in the match, and Inoki's legitimately kicking him in the face, basically. <laughs> Sapping on the back of his head. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't want to fuck about with Inoki, he'll fucking mess you up. No, he's looking, he's like, come on, you motherfucker, get up. <laughs> I'm going to kick the shit out. Uh, yeah, and he's the hard way. Jesus. <laughs> it's that thing from the Simpsons where so, you know, he just not happy. when Homer's was beating up the uh, burglar and that kid's like stop stop he's already dead and like Homer just keeps <laughs> punching that guy fucking <laughs> hell he was, he's a bad way there yes yeah, so there's blood all over it Antonio's face and the mat and his hands and Jesus Christ that and that's pure from kicks and yeah, punches that's not first. like Loki's still kind of like that's ready, ready to go. Fuck it now. Kind slightly ashamed that that was probably the main event. Yeah. Fuck out of somebody. <laughs> oh, nice. Fuck. Same the devastation. Of the it's de- it's definitely sobered up now, anyway. Christ. <laughs> Great haircut, <laughs> though. I'm liking the uh, the perms in this video, at least. <laughs> yes, Anoki was always t- well turned out. He was, he was. Well, I, see, I don't know much about Ricky Dozan. I mean, Ricky Dozan was supposedly the biggest wrestling star in the world ever, and Anoki was always trying to position himself as the kind of the, the heir apparent to becoming the like the biggest name. And he, and I think he did for a long time, especially mm. in the eighties, the seventies, and eighties. Um, and then, uh, then, and that'll be something we get, probably get into the future in the end. The eighties and nineties, you got the. Three Musketeers of, um, of uh, Chono, Mut- uh, Muto, and the one who I always forget. Hashimoto. No, so a big fat guy with the, with the headband. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. He's a just like karate master, I think you'll find. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. He, there's he, one he where badass. there's a match with him where something similar happens where this guy basically shoots on him and just kicks the shit out of him and he ends up on the oh, floor really? like that, like bleeding. I, I've never found it. It must be on. It must be on here. Yeah, I'll I'll have a look for next time. Yeah. Anyway, big thanks to anybody who's, who's tuned in live. There were a couple of people. God bless you for watching this nonsense. <laughs> um, big thanks to everybody who's tuned in afterwards. Um, I, well, I hope there's going to be some more uh, more of these. But we I want to show you. I mean, this is the pinnacle of uh, kind of New Japan at the moment with Kenny and Ishii. Brand new stuff, and then the complete car crash. That was. <laughs> <laughs> he went from the top to the bottom <laughs> there, didn't we? Yeah, you know, it's all about peaks and valleys, isn't it? It, <laughs> it was all entertaining, it. no matter what. Even bad wrestling can be entertaining. Exactly. So, yes. So, I'll bid you adieu. <laughs> See you next time. Cheers, Ross. Bye.